Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about the Redis cache module. Okay. So in the last video we talked about in-memory caching using NestJS cache. I mean we were using cache manager indirectly. So what if we wanted to use Redis as a cache store, right? So there are two methods are there in the cache module. First is the register and another is a register sync. We are using register async because we are doing a dynamic initialization by passing the factory because we need to get these arguments from somewhere else. This can come from the config service. We don't have a config service, but this is this can be written using register also. But here we try to do the dynamic initialization and we can use a config service to inject restore host port and TTL values dynamically. So we are using a dynamic initialization here and we are going to use cache manager here as a or this is cache module as a store with redis okay so cache manager can work with internal nestjs cache and external redis store here we are using external redis store we provided the store uh, host port and this store is coming from this particular library it took me time to figure out when I was developing this uh, in the past like we have to get this Redis store from Redis manager uh, cache manager are you Redis okay now everything is fine you have the Redis running somewhere which has a host and port you can also provide the authentication and all and once this is up and running you can write your own Redis service okay because this is a Redis module you can create a Redis service and you can export that Redis service from here uh, you can create a providers inside providers uh, this is redis service we are creating redis cache service okay and also you can export this you should be able to import it okay so this is pretty much simple right and what we are doing in the redis cache service is we are accessing the cache manager this is how this is the same way we were accessing the cache for the nestjs internal cache okay the same thing cache manager now cache manager the only thing is the store had changed nothing else the store was earlier uh, internal nestjs memory now it is external ready store rest all these things are same you can have, have a get set delete reset all these key value pair uh, where you can actually set get delete the redis keys okay now what you can do is you have the redis module just uh, inject this cache module uh, let's put a different name let's put it as a redis cache module otherwise it will confuse because cache module is already there and we don't need to create an alias here we can just say cache module dot register sync and we can have redis cache module so we are exporting this redis cache module from here and this redis cache module you can import in your domain module so after search module we can just place it now our other services like user service post service can access this particular redis service and can they can do they can call get and set methods get key set key all these methods they can use okay so this is a simple implementation is how you can integrate with the redis service okay there, there is another thing redis microservice that we will talk about later this is simple how you can use redis as your cache store okay uh, thanks everyone so now in the next video we are going to talk about a little bit more on the, the api side like we haven't discussed about nestjs with the sqlize nestjs, nestjs with the mongoose as a odm and sqlize as a orm we discussed a lot about type orm sqlize we will just have a simple demo and we'll move forward and then we'll talk about nestjs microservices and authentication authorization and all these topics okay uh, thanks everyone